Hey besties, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a fun one. It's going to be styling clothes that I hate. Or styling clothes that I have a love-hate relationship with. So today I'm going to challenge myself to style some of these pieces for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel um, and follow me on Instagram at One Stylish Move where I post all of my outfit pics. Starting off strong, we've got something I got really recently. This is a skirt that I love, I saw it and I knew I loved it, but when I saw it in the shop, I knew that this was going to be a piece that I struggled with. But I still bought it because she was £25, this is stunning, I've seen these go on Depop for like £80 to £100, pounds, so I thought I might as well pick it up. So it's just a bit of an awkward length, I did deliberate cropping it, but I have decided to keep it long, mostly because a lot of people said to keep it long when I asked on TikTok, um, and it is so stunning that I feel very bad cutting it. It is also a lot of colours, so it's very busy skirt, um, it's very tempting to just kind of style it in a 60 mod way with a white turtleneck and call it a fit and be done, but I don't want to do that because I don't think that's my style. Lots of colours, lots of red, lots of blue, some yellow, some green, um, a bit of black in here as well, so very challenging overall. It's also high-waisted, which is not my general skirt, maxi skirt style, and it falls kind of close to the knee, which is something I also really struggle with to style. It's also an A-line skirt, which I really struggle with as well, because all of my maxi skirts are more like fitted to the body, flowy sort of skirts, whereas this kind of flares out, and it's just an all-round kind of styling nightmare for me but I still bought it knowing that it would be that so we're gonna we're gonna style it so this is sort of the base fit I've got a plain black waistcoat on which is very like neutral and easy to style with this skirt um, let's see if I can show you more of the fit so we've got this plain waistcoat moment going on um, so that it kind of is a neutral but not a neutral and it still has like its own standout flare to go with the flare of the skirt. Um, I left the bottom bit open so that you can see there is a distinction between the skirt and the waistcoat because I don't really like it when tops run over and then you can see at the back. Boot wise I have decided to go for my red cowboy boots to play off the red details in the skirt just because I think it's cool to have that sort of element in the fit still and I didn't want to just like I said kind of pair it with just plain black or plain white items I wanted to kind of keep this as a fun outfit so these are the boots with it I really like it like this necklace wise I'm gonna change out my current necklaces with this bolo tie so I've got this scarf this beautiful sort of 90s thin scarf and I just want to wrap it around like that and now you can see that now I have red kind of running through the whole outfit and it looks cool um, in terms of earrings I'm gonna do these sort of pearl ones because then that plays with the sort of pearlescent ness of this um, bolo tie these are the rings what do you think and then for a bag again tying in the black and the red I have this Betty Boop moment that I picked up at the same time as when I picked this skirt up. I think this is the whole outfit, not gonna lie. So this is what it looks like. The next clothing item I have is probably one of my favorite pieces that I own, but also I think this is ugly sort of on an every other day basis. I'm not sure if she's actually nice. And I got it at car boot for two, three pounds. Um, so a bargain and just not something that I would usually wear. I bought her months ago. She's a cute summery dress, I think, sometimes. But sometimes I think she's absolutely vile. But I'm gonna style her so that I can justify keeping her and wear her. So this is the dress on. You can see why I love it, but also don't love it. It just, I am confused by her. I'm confused, but it's fine. I'm confused, but fine. First things first, boots. Cowboy boots are staples, so I'm gonna style this with cowboy boots. This dress has white running through it, so I'm probably gonna start with my white ones. And they are. I love my cowboy boots. I know I was like, oh, I'm not gonna be basic, but I think cowboy boots are a basic item for me, so maybe I am just being basic. I have this waistcoat that I got from Snoopers Paradise, different place to Snoopers Attic, um, but it's such a full trend at the moment to wear this waistcoat, and I feel like it masks up 
this dress, which I love because the outfit's very feminine. A pink frilly dress with a leather sort of biker tassel -y waistcoat is just chef's kiss, in my opinion. You don't have to agree. Um, in terms of what I'm doing with my hair, I think I'll wear my hair up with this dress. We're gonna go in with my Anne Boleyn tea necklace. This I got from Westminster Abbey gift shop. You can get them online. Along with that, I'm gonna pop in my chunky heart earrings because I think these are really cute. And then rings, we gotta have rings. I'm also gonna pop on this silver like skull and crossbone ring that I got from Snoopers Paradise to edge it up a little bit, you know, match the um, jacket. And then I also have this little snake silver ring. So I'm gonna pop that on. I don't wear a lot of silver rings, but when I do, I like it. And then I'm gonna put this little wave ring on above the skull and crossbone ring, just cause it falls off all the time. And that's what my rings look like and my earrings. I think this outfit still needs a bit of zhuzh though. So I'm gonna add a bangle this gold bangle, this heart bangle that I got for 99p at a charity shop. Stunning, I love it. I wanted to go for like an edgy, grungy sort of bag with this look, again, sort of subverting the femininity of a pink summer dress with frills um, and tying into the more masculine elements like the cowboy boots, the vest, the um, hair up, the skull ring. We have this little kind of animal print leather sort of moment with gold hardware that I picked up. Kind of looks silver and gold so it matches the mixing jewellery. And there we go. The full outfit. Do we like? I love. Um, it's a little bit, again, of an out there outfit, but I think it is a great way to wear this dress. It's a subversive way to wear this dress. It's not what you'd standardly put this dress in. but. I like it. She's cute. She's cool. She's edgy. Item number three is a top that I love to bits. I got it from Vintage Paradise UK, but I've only worn it once and I wore it just with low rise jeans. And I did it, I wasn't obsessed with the fit. And I look at it and I'm like, that's such a stunning top. I can't believe I don't wear it more. Um, it lives on my like clothes rail, clothes rail, my like dream items clothes rail. Um, someone is. I live on a junction and some tiny penis men just rev their motorbike engines, sorry. Um, but I want to wear it more because it's so cute. What my plan is, is to layer that top. I need to be able to wear it all year round, I've decided. All of my clothing should be able to be worn all year round. Um, and I want to wear fun stuff, colourful stuff, even in the winter. But what I was thinking is I'm going to put this on and then layer the top on on top of it to make a sort of like shirt, dress, top, skirt, frilly moment. Cause I think that's cute. So let's see what it looks like. So this is me in the shirt that I'm gonna layer it on top of. I've taken my hair down, um, but I've kept these earrings in because I think they'll look cute with this outfit as well. Um, and let's layer this on top. Layering has always intimidated me, but I'm trying to get more into it and use my pieces more versatilely and layer stuff in the autumn and winter instead of just like Putting a jumper on. Yeah, she's cute. She's cute. Look at this vibes. Okay. The pink and the yellow go so well together, but this is not warm enough for autumn slash winter. So I'm gonna put a pair of tights on. I have these ones from Eat Franz. I don't wear many tights and colorful tights are like really becoming a thing, but I don't wanna sort of get into the trend big time, unless it's something that I'm gonna like properly wear long term. And I think there are some versions of colorful tights that I would want to pick up, but a more neutral tight with a logo on it is also a really easy way to get into the trend and something that I think personally for me is more like stylable long term and something that I will wear a lot more. Here we go, Avec tights. See how it's cute to have a bit more like sort of cozy vibes now. This shirt is really super long in the bag um, and is just long enough to be considered a dress skirt, I think, in the front. Um, but this is super cute, but now we need to find some shoes to wear with it. A pair of long boots from Public Desire that I got before I boycott like all fast fashion. Um, I tried to find like black boots on Depop and Vinted and stuff, but I just couldn't find a nice pair that I really liked. And so I was like, well, I'll invest 
in a pair that's gonna last me a long time and these do. I really want the Steve Madden boots. They're like the Naked Wolf ones, but I have this pair of black boots, so I can't really justify that at the moment. This is what it looks like. I got this baseball jacket from Vinted for 20 quid, no, 10 quid. Um, and it has that brown and black element that from the tights that we can tie into the shirt. It still allows the shirt to be longer than it, so it looks more like a dress. And it also it has that silver metallic that is just stunning at the moment and I think everyone is loving. So this is the, the base fit. Um, necklace wise, I think I'm gonna keep this on just cause I think it fits the vibe well. Again, chunky pink heart ring. I love it forever and it will forever be my fave. And then we're gonna pop my yellow flower back on. And then I think I'm gonna put my little beaded flowery ring on and then this charity shop flowery ring as well, just so that I keep the pink and the flowery tones. And then this is outfit number, number three. Oh my god, she's cute. Wait, I need a bag. So because we have black in the boots, but not really anywhere else in the fit, I've gone for this little black quilted bag that I got for £10 at PDSA Charity Shop in Brighton. Um, it also has this gold hardware to match like some of the hardware that's on this necklace, the tee, and the gold hardware that's in my ears so that I'm not just wearing colourful rings and I can tie the gold in with the bag. So this is the fit, oh my god, she's cute, <laughs> yay, I love her, I think she's really cute, let me look in the mirror, stunning, fit number four, so item number four, let's get it, item number four are these rose flowery velvety trousers that I bought sort of Valentine's Day time last year, um, and everyone was wearing like pinks and everything, and I was like, I love those trousers, I need them, they were like, 30 quid of Depop, so kind of spenny to not be worn much. I've only worn them once with like a pink corset for an Instagram photo shoot, um, and I'd like to wear them more in everyday life, but I have no clue how to style them, so let's do that now. Okay, so I just popped my top from earlier that I was wearing today back on because I haven't styled these trousers and I need help really styling them but um, I wanted to show you what they look like unstyled this is how long it's been since I've worn them I thought these were culotte cool length they are not they're full length to the floor baby today I went vintage shopping I bought something that I want to try styling these with um, but you're gonna have to bear with me because it is it is pushing the boat out big time big big time um, but we'll see how it we'll see how it goes. So what I want to do is I want to see how this mesh black dress looks with these on. I'm kind of into this. What do you think? What do you think? So you've got the like fluffiness of this dress, right? With the velvetiness of these trousers. They're long, they're red, they're vampy, and then with this dress over them, it's kind of cool. Hold on, I need to actually work out if this looks good. It also means that the fluff is kind of hiding my nipples a bit more because from a distance, it's fine. Up close, it's very see-through. Um, she's obsessed, I'm obsessed, but we still have to style the rest of this fit, so. I have these tiny little Dior kitten heels that I got from a charity shop for £30 that I think would are perfect with this sort of outfit moment. Oh my god, obsessed! They're black so they tie in the whole like black theme. Um, I guess we need a bag. So this is more of like an event outfit, I guess, but bag wise I've gone for my Fendi monogram bag to tie in the pinks from the trousers with the blacks that we've got going on and then if i had to wear a coat we have two options we have an all fur moment or we have this fur coat that i got today this is with like the full fur mm -hmm. okay 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 but this is the fit don't come for me i love it you can hate it so i think 
I'm going to go with this pearl toka, just because this is a look with a lot of drama, and we love it. Here we go. These are the rings. Rings. Gold chain ring, gold disc ring, orange ring, cross necklace. Hair is half up, half down with the butterfly clip. Coat, trousers, heels kitten heels. This is the last item that I have to style. Um, it is probably my most love-hate item ever. Whenever I wear it I get hella compliments but I also never wear it because I find it so challenging to style. So let's let's get her out, let's bring her out, let's introduce this baby. Everyone say goodbye to the rose trousers and say hello to the mint green fur trim coat. Can you see why I struggle? The mint colour reminds me so much of 2014 Tumblr Girl Aesthetic. The coat is fucking stunning. The trendiest coat on the planet. I love her. She was originally from ASOS, but I got her on Depop for £80, which was definitely a markup. She was not £80 to start with. She's there, she was 30 I looked on the ASOS Plus website, because that's where it's from. But she was obviously sold out. So this is actually a size... 14 so if it's hella oversized but stunning nonetheless um i love it but i hate it so let's style it okay bestie friends this is what the imgs set looks like oh i mean what i've done with my hair is i've taken it down and i've sort of brought my bangs back into existence and styled them a little bit just with some hairspray they're not perfect but i'm sorry and then i've got my gold heart chain pendant on that i got from asos but i wear it all the time um and then ring wise what i've done is i've kind of tried to incorporate some more green because the the, the outfit is neutral but the coat is green so I've got my green smiley face ring this little white neutral that um, usually has a butterfly on it but I haven't glued it back on so she's a neutral ring now and then I have the little like neutral beige yellowy sort of ring daisy that I have and then this green little seeing eye boy and this is the fit so she's beige she's totally beige she's the beigeiest of beige She's absolute beige. Um, shoe wise, we're gonna bring in some more neutral tones. So this is quite like a light outfit with the coat and the set. It's all very like light tones, but I wanna bring some black in. So to deepen the outfit a little bit, add some more depth to it. We have these 90s boots that I got from a charity shop ages ago. What is the brand? The brand is Gabor. This is what the boot looks like on. So this is it with the coat on. Yes, honey, she's here. She is the moment. This coat is such a statement that I just can't get over it, but I just can't get on it. So I don't know what to do with this coat, but I do enjoy this fit. I think it's stunning, and I think the coat complements the nudeness of it very well. This is a coat that you could throw on with any nude outfit, and honestly, it would look good. But anything other than that it just it's, it challenges me so much because I've got the black of the boots and then I also have the beige of this set what I have is this little 90s bag that just goes perfectly with it that I got from a charity shop ages ago and she compliments the fit just perfectly so this is the fit this is what she looks like this is fit number five and that is we're done I don't have any more outfits to put together I've run out of pieces um, I do have more pieces in my wardrobe that I struggle to style but I can't do every one otherwise this video would be like hundreds of years long thank you so much guys for watching I had so much fun making this video and styling all these outfits I hope they gave you some inspiration on how to style the problematic pieces in your wardrobe and to just really push the boat out when it comes to styling these sorts of pieces because there are no rules in fashion doesn't matter what the trends are, just do what you think looks cool and what you enjoy and someone else will find it cool because someone else will have the same sort of aesthetic taste as you, someone else will think it's vibey, there are so many different fashion communities that you don't even need to worry about what like influencers are wearing and stuff, just wear whatever the fuck you want and if you love a piece then have fun styling it and if you love hate a piece style it some fun different ways and maybe you'll fall in love with it i love all of the pieces and all the fits i put together today and styled and i just think that it's such a fun new way to wear these pieces that i don't really wear very often stay beautiful bye guys